And now stand by for adventure. Three, two, one. In the exciting story of Firewater. Far out in space, three cargo ships from Jupiter wing their way to a distant galaxy. Suddenly, passing the volcanic world of Thor, they're caught in a violent eruption. The ships are gone without a trace. The terrible space storms of Thor have struck again. But now, in the Wonder Rocket Travel Lab, Colonel Bleep, Squeak, and Scratch are on their way to survey and chart the exact position of this treacherous planet on a map, a space map for safer space travel. On his visa screen, the Colonel briefs his crew. Immediately following the next eruption, the travel lab will zoom in on Thor. A spray of water from the forward guns will protect the ship from the planet's blazing heat as they make a low altitude run to survey Thor's exact position. But they must speed off to safety before the next space storm erupts. Unknown to Pleep and his crew, however, the wicked Dr. Destructo is already at work on a treacherous plot to send the travel lab to a fiery doom. If this culprit has his way, the spray guns on the Colonel's rocket will not be filled with water at all, but with highly inflammable rocket fuel. They will all be lost in a blazing inferno. Now back aboard the travel lab, Bleep spots an approaching space tanker. According to plan, the traveling laboratory will take on the water supply for its spray guns in a mid-space cargo transfer from such a craft. But Bleep is unaware that this spaceship is not the water-carrying tanker. No, indeed, this cargo ship is filled to the brim with highly inflammable rocket fuel. And the pilot is the evil Dr. Destructo himself. Prepare for contact, Travel Lab. Sizzling satellites? This is terrible. Scratch is opening the intake valve on the reservoir tanks. In seconds, they'll be filled with explosive rocket fuel. Don't turn that nozzle, Scratch. Don't do it. Stop. Stop. It's too late. He's turning it on. But wait, what's he doing now? Great galaxies, he's filling his drinking cup first. Oh, oh, oh. That's not water. Scratch knows something is terribly wrong. Quickly, the caveman ties a knot in the end of the snorkel hose. Now, as Destructo pumps the explosive fuel through the hose, it's trapped inside. Bigger and bigger the hose swells, until inside the tanker, Destructo sneers with glee. The gauge of his cargo tank reads empty. The villain is sure the deadly load has been transferred to the travel lab. So away he speeds. But the spaceman and his deputies have the last laugh this time. Now Squeak takes careful aim. Scratch loads the forward launching tube. Destructo's plan has gone wrong. And you can be sure he's pretty burned up about it. Ready? Aim! Fire! 